back. You're watching Bottom Line Africa. Let's continue with the broadcast. Now, the fourth annual legislative summit that seeks to assess progress made in legislation that supports entrenching devolution concludes in the lakeside Kisumu. The theme of the summit this year is accelerating devolution, assessing the achievements and addressing the gaps in policy and legislation and seeks to build on the gains of the first three legislative summits. Our political affairs reporter Morimi Mwangi is there and spoke to some of the legislators about the resolutions from the summit. Let's listen in. The curtains finally close on the fourth legislative summit here in Kisumu with insistence on the need for cooperation between the county assemblies and the Senate to execute their oversight mandate over the county government's various presentations happening here in terms of how to enhance that cooperation as well as looking at the gaps in terms of legislation in terms of what the counties can do at the level of the county assemblies and how that can be enhanced at the Senate. But besides that, a very interesting presentation on ongoing debate for uh, legal reforms, constitutional reforms that are meant to enhance devolution and what better people to talk to than two of the panelists that were there, Senator for Makweni, Mutula Kilonzo Jr. as well as Rarieda, legislator, uh, senior counsel, Otiende Amolo. Uh, perhaps uh, to, just, to just reflect on this conference that has just ended here, there's so much insistence in terms of enhancing uh, the legislative work of the county assemblies and also at the Senate, you have discussed various uh, uh, issues that are affecting these two key institutions, but there are gaps also. Which are the key gaps that you have identified as a legislator and also as a legal expert that you feel in the coming days to enhance the success of devolution ought to be addressed? Okay, thank you. First, uh, I'll contribute a little, but I will leave the major contribution to my friend, uh, Senator Mutulo Kilonzo Jr., having been here throughout and also being a key organizer of the event. And I will comment mostly on the last closing session in which we were both panelists. Uh, first of all, I think the legislative summit is something to be appreciated. Because in my view, although we have the annual devolution conference, the one meeting that really focuses on the proper workings of devolution ought to be the legislative summit. Because the legislative summit then examines the workings of devolution from the lowest level possible. And therefore it is a bit regrettable that perhaps representation of members of parliament, both Senate and National Assembly, and governors and the executive was not as high as it ought to have been. Secondly, I would say that um, it is also very important because MCS being the lowest elective officers who interact with members of the public on a day-to-day -day basis, perhaps even more than as members of parliament, are able to disclose and discuss things that affect the Monainchi more than any other. And I think from this summit, a number of issues that are critical to members of the public came up. Thirdly, I'm talking in the context of whether we should review the constitution and what we should consider, very important discussions came up here. And uh, other than uh, you know, acknowledging that uh, review of a constitution periodically is a good thing, the focus was how do you review the constitution in such a way that is for the posterity of this country and not for the focus on any one individual. And uh, the members of this legislative summit were able to come up with very uh, useful uh, observations. It should not be lost on anyone that if we are to review the constitution, especially uh, through popular initiative or a referendum, then the county assemblies will be very, very critical. Perhaps yes. so that we, we bring in Senator, the, the, the Mweshmiwa here is talking about the detachment in terms of the interactions. You have held sessions of the Senate Mashinani. You rated that when it happened in uh, Uasin Gishu. Is it something you want to consider more? Because there's a feeling that uh, it only happens when you have this kind of summits that you meet with these uh, members of county assemblies who are supposed to be your partners in terms of oversight over the county government? Uh, the, the, two, the two, although uh, uh, attempt to achieve an, uh, same objective are different. The Senate Marginani is a constitutional issue where a parliament can sit anywhere. And this September we are still going to sit in another county. This forum is a yearly forum where you bring the audit 
of two very important oversight arms of devolution, one at national level and one at uh, county level. And therefore, just like uh, my, my colleague and friend uh, Otiende Amola said, it's regrettable that the executive does not want to interact with the county assembly and senate at this level, where we are, we are not in a political platform as such, or, or, or where, where we can all speak with one voice, because the legislative reforms we are talking about, these are the people to articulate them to the people through the assemblies, whether it's the regional blocks, it's the same thing. The, uh, the approval of those regional blocks must come through the assemblies and must come to the senate. And this is one way of building synergy at devolution. So it surprises me a little that in one hand the president in the state of nation address speaks about devolution, speaks about oversight in uh, uh, Kirinyaga, but then doesn't come here because those issues that he raised are properly brought before the county assembly for purposes of asking the question, why are we spending so much on oversight? Is there something that we can do differently so that then we can deal with the issues? The other issues about welfare are things that we can, all, we can talk about because the executive sits with the national assembly to discuss welfare. They might do it quietly, but they discuss those matters of welfare. But matters of, of, uh, of national interest also ought to be discussed here. It also paints a picture that are, this is not useful. Uh, and maybe the devolution conference is much more useful. But we don't tackle the nitty gritties that are very impertinent to devolution. And as Otende Molo says, if you need the pulse of devolution, bring members of county assembly. They will tell you the real issues that are happening on a daily basis. They possibly know more than we'll ever do and more than governors will ever do, more than the executive that we'll ever do. And therefore the future of devolution will depend on how we handle the county assemblies. Leave alone the Senate. How we handle the county assemblies now and going forward will be very critical in terms of uh, what devolution, the vision of devolution in future. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, Mwishwe, you sit in the Public Accounts Committee in the National Assembly and uh, you critic these reports from the Auditor General at your level when you're critiquing national institutions that fall within the national government. Moshmiwa sits in the Senate, they have the Public Accounts and Investments Committee that also looks into these reports from the counties. But there's a feeling that uh, when you look at these reports from the national level without involving the first court of call, which is the county assemblies at the grassroots, then uh, you lose it because these are the people that are in touch with the governors and the members of the, uh, you know, the county executive committee and they can critic them perhaps better than you might do it at the national level. Do you feel that perhaps there should be some legal reforms to enhance uh, you know the chances for these county assemblies to also look at them before they can look at them at the Senate for, for, the, for, for, the, for the case of the counties the answer is yes and no in the case of the National Assembly the answer is obviously no because the Public Accounts Committee of the National Assembly looks at the accounts of national institutions and it does not at all touch on the county uh, you know, account. That is the exclusive domain of the Senate Public Accounts Committee. At the level of the Public Accounts Committee, I dare say that while the answer is yes, uh, yes to the extent that it was discussed here, that the oversight by the Senate over counties and the oversight by the county assembly over counties is something that needs to be focused on as we are talking of the review. However, to the best of my knowledge, the oversight by the pack of Senate has not and has never stifled the oversight of the various public accounts committees individually. And I, I know that there are a number of counties where the public accounts committee are quite robust. In fact, the existence of the PAC uh, Senate committee is an additional buffer zone to the county PAC so that if they believe that their county level, their recommendations and their observations are not being met, then they would escalate them properly to the Senate for proper interrogation. So to that extent, I think it is complementary rather than in com competition. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, this, this whole discussion is about legislation, but uh, these are interesting times politically post the cooperation deal between President Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, opposition leader Raila Odinga in uh, March 2018. There's been talk about constitutional reforms, and uh, Mwishmiwa here talked about the uh, economic blocks that are coming up in different parts of the country. The former prime minister in one of the devolution conferences talked about a federal system with a reduced number of counties. Are we losing this discussion? 
discussion in terms of what we need to do to enhance devolution Mashmiwa. What should inform uh, the talk about constitutional reforms if we are to uh, safeguard the gains that have been made through devolution in these past six years? Uh, for, uh, let's, uh, it's, it's important uh, because the space which Kenyans have now to discuss issues should not be stifled at any time. Therefore, we must encourage debate at whatever level. The point we have not made is have a question for discussion. And therefore, we, we, we don't seem to be going either east, west, south or north. We seem to be scurrying around everywhere about everything. And therefore, we never concretize our debate on any issue. Therefore, now everything is flying in the air. You don't know where you're going. We don't know where BBI is going. We don't know where the position of all these proposals. Parliament has not been involved. We don't know when it will be involved. We can't see the public involvement in even what the BBI is doing. The point of departure, and I said, is bring this to the public. All right, insights right there on the